We're in Windows Server 2016, and I have Remote Desktop Services installed. And we have a collection which I created in a previous video called Web Apps. And in that collection, we see the calculator and the Remote Desktop connection. So what we want to do is we want to add some additional programs. So before we do that, let's go ahead and log in and see how this looks now, and then we'll see how it looks after we make the changes. Here is our current RD Web apps that we see here, Remote Desktop Connection and the Calculator. So we'll minimize that and we can see Calculator and Remote Desktop Connection. So let's go ahead and click Publish Remote Apps and we'll get a list of all the different default programs that we can install. So let's go ahead and choose something like uh, WordPad and maybe we'll choose Paint and we'll go ahead and go down here to the bottom right and click Next. So there's the two that we're going to be adding. Go ahead and click Publish. And we see they're now published. Go ahead and click Close. And now we're going to go back to our uh, web, RD web uh, browser. There we go. Hit Refresh. And look at that. We've added the Paint and WordPad applications. Let's go ahead and click on one just to make sure it works. And when you click on it, without the uh, gateway setup, then you tend to get prompted to, for a lot of different uh, passwords and things like that. So let's go ahead and click yes, click open, and we'll click don't ask me again, click connect, and we got to put in our password. And it says that we're connected to the remote app. And there it is, there's WordPad right there. And we can go ahead and type and save, do whatever it is that we want. So let's go ahead and close that. Now let's go back into WordPad again. Click open. And we're opened once again into WordPad, but we didn't get prompted quite so many times uh, as we did the first time because we told it to save the configuration settings. Now if you go into, back into Server Manager, and we go to Overview, if you uh, configure the RD Gateway, and then what that does is it will add a lot of additional security, but it'll also make it easier to log in as well. You won't get prompted so many times the first time you launch a program. It does require a public certificate, however. It no longer works with private certificate or self-signed certificates in Windows 10 as it once did. So uh, the RD Gateway is definitely a good thing to have if you're going to be having apps on the Internet. But if you're going to be doing everything internal, then it's just not necessary. Take a look at the complete guide to setting up remote desktop, desktop services in this playlist. And you can see from start to finish what it takes to set up remote desktop services on a 2016 server.